Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Sorry the way I look, I literally look bold, I look tired, I look pale, I look gross. <laughs> if you can hear Ollie in the background, obviously wherever I am, that child is. So he's in the background watching his iPad, so I hope he's just going to stay there and be quiet while I just catch up with you guys, chill and just do my makeup because that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do my sort of everyday look today, so something sort of simple and natural. To some people this is not natural at all, this is a load of makeup, but to me it's subtle and it's something that I like to do because I know everyone's opinion and stuff is different. But this is what I enjoy doing on my face. And yes, it might be natural to me, but not other people. Anyway, just wanted to get that across. But yes, how is everyone? I hope you're all doing really, really well. I'm so glad to be sitting back and filming. It seems so long, like five days was the last time I uploaded a video. And to me, that's too long. Like that just feels way too long. Um, so I'm filming it today, I'm on a Monday. I hope everyone's had a really nice weekend. I've had a really nice chilled weekend with my boyfriend and Oliver. And it's nice to be back Monday. We're gonna start fresh, we're gonna sit, we're gonna chat about a load of random stuff and just to catch up with you guys and you can catch up with me and what I'm doing and where I am and stuff like that. Anyway, if you're new, make sure you like, comment and subscribe. And if you're an oldie, thank you so much for sticking around and supporting me because it means the absolute world to me. Um, if I'm looking at myself and not here, that is generally because I'm filming my makeup in my phone. So I really don't know how that's going to go because the setup's a bit different because the lighting was just not good. I'm going to sit here and film it. I literally look like I have no eyebrows, which I don't. No, I don't. I don't have no eyebrows. I just over pluck and I get carried away. Does anyone do that? And my skin is just not being nice to me at the minute. It just does not like me. So anyway, let's get into this. So the first thing I'm going to take is the vitamin E skin cream. So this is the nourishing night one. I always get the night one just because the day one's just like not thick enough. And I like something that's really thick creamy and that's like gonna really help my dry skin because I suffer with really bad dry skin and there's nothing worse than putting makeup on dry flaky crusty skin because you'll make it all lift it will pick off it just it just won't go on as flawless as it can be so moisturizing is key oh and there's Lola <laughs> And some might go in and out as well, just because I'm sitting right near the window and it's going to come in, out, in, out, which is annoying, but I hope that's okay. I've gone really red, but I really, really, really recommend this stuff. I use this, I use the oil, I use the eye cream, like it's cheap, but it bloody works, like it's really good. And then I will go in with the NYX Honey Dew Me Up. So this is a primer slash, it's going to make your makeup go on dewy and flawless. So, and I paid £15 for this in boots, and I highly recommend it. And everyone, you, everyone thinks that, oh, it's going to be really greasy on my skin. and st It's not, honestly. I love this. So, yeah, I just thought I'm going to sit down and do a little sit down video because I haven't done them. I haven't done one for ages. But I thought I'm just going to do it. Um, I will tell you what products I'm using and stuff, but let's just sit and talk while I rub this into my skin. It smells so good. But yes, how is everyone doing? I hope you're all doing really, really, really well. I'm doing, if I'm being honest, okay. My anxiety has been through the roof, like it's been really, really bad. Um, and I'm coming off some medication because they're giving me really, really bad side effects. Um, so I'm coming off medication, so I feel funny. I've had a lot of pains with my chest, which then I overthink and worry and think I'm going to die or something like that. So my anxiety has been really, really, really bad. But I'm trying, my partner's there to calm me down. And then I just sort of sit and think to myself, like, you're fine, you're healthy, you're happy. Look what you have around you. You don't need to worry. Like, And there's a reason why I'm coming off these tablets. So I really have to look at it like that. But anxiety on a day-to-day -day base for me is a really big struggle and it's bloody hard it really is hard and there's nothing there's no cure for it there's no nothing that you just sleep on it and over you know you have a really bad day you sleep you wake up and you feel good because that's not the case at all like it's the hardest thing to live with i believe yeah anxiety has not been not been good it's been really really bad 
but anyway I've been okay I guess I'm getting there we all we all have to get there and just get past these rough patches you just have to think like this is not gonna last forever you know I feel like this but it's just not gonna last forever and it will be fine so talking to yourself I really find helps um what else can I cut? I'm not looking forward to this week because it's proper busy um Oliver's got a few hospital appointments so he needs to get his hearing checked um he needs to have his pre-booster things and he's have like injections which i'm really not looking forward to because like he's he's to that age now where he'll know what's coming and what's happening so i find that it's even worse now than when he was like a baby which he was pretty good as a baby having his jab so it didn't phase him to be honest it was a little cry and he was done but i'm not looking forward to them also he needs to have a hearing test at the general just to check but his hearing's okay just because he keeps saying to me that he can't hear and stuff like that. So I took him to my GP and I explained what was going on. And they said, yes, let's refer him just to get checked to just to make sure that Oliver is okay. And his hearing's fine because I just don't want to leave things like that. I'll get them checked straight away. That's what we need to do. Why is this? Honestly, my brows look ginger in this camera, but I swear to you they're not. I swear. <laughs> Look at her, such a good girl. Yeah, they're not gingers. Why are they coming up really ginger? <laughs> I don't know why. This palette. Oh, sorry. I was just using this PS palette that I've got from Primark. I got that quite a while ago, but I, I love that Primark. Uh, Primark eyeshadow palette. Sorry, like they are so good. I love them. I really do need to do like a big shop in Primark. That's what I'm feeling. I know it's not good to go in there and just pick up a basket and think I'm just going to shove everything in because it's not always good when you get to the till and you're like how much do I spend and you're just like oh, you don't want to put anything back so I need to do like a good shop in there I also really need to buy a wardrobe but I just need to stop putting it off and just actually buy one because um yeah like if I show you in Ollie's room because he's got a huge room so like behind the door I've got all my like clothes and stuff like that um, but I actually need to just get a wardrobe now and stop putting it off because it just gets so unorganised and so messy and I love to be clean and organised and at the moment I'm really really not don't mind the brows they're going to look crazy at the minute but they won't, for, they won't for long so and I've been using this 16 hour concealer from e.l.f which I really really love the coverage is just unreal it reminds me of the sharp Sharp tape, sharp, I, I, I can't even say it, so I'm not gonna say that, you probably know what I mean. I use this all over the lid like a primer, but then I also go around and cut, not cut a crease, but sort of clean up the eyebrow. See, I'm gonna just take this, you can still see. And I'm just gonna sort of clean up the eyebrow. So hard to do your makeup and talk. So so hard. It's crazy to think as well. Like I generally thought I was going to be YouTube for like my sit down makeup videos, and it's not the case at all. Like yeah, I don't mind doing a few now and then, but that's not really something I really want to do on my channel like all the time. Like I want to do a mixed, you know, a mix mixed videos. I don't just want to do a sit down makeup tutorial. I do want to do them, but not. For this whole channel sort of thing but i am generally putting my life out there to share stuff with you to help you and just to fill my dreams and hobbies because if anyone knows they know how much i love my youtube you just know so there's the messy one like looks awful there's the one i've just cut out looking good so I'm going to repeat the same step. Take my beauty blender over the front of my brows because I like that faded look and I don't like it to be sort of too harsh near the brow at the front because it just looks silly. But there's my brows at the moment being concealed and then I've gone lightly over with a beauty blender just at the front so they look more seamless and more natural. As natural as I can get. <laughs> this is out of Just Essentials as anyone knows uptown. It's like a little beauty shop where you sort of get the cheapest sort of makeup which is great and like wigs and stuff. It cost me 179. It's great. It's so yellow, which is so good. And it's just a compressed powder like this. So it's a really nice yellowy white undertone, which I love in a palette. 
powder. So I'm gonna just take my H&M brush and I'm just gonna set my eyelids slightly just so the concealer doesn't move or anything like that. But I'm not gonna put any eyeshadow on at all. This is definitely a little bit more natural. You can see all the powder flying everywhere. Yeah, I just wanted to do a little sit down video and talk to you guys and see how you're doing and just let you know what I've been doing and I've missed you all loads. Like I miss sitting down, sitting down here and talking. I don't just feel like I'm talking to a camera. I generally feel like I'm talking to you all and it's a comfort for me and it's a place where I can just come and chat and all of you leave your really nice supportive comments and it means the world to me, it really does. And so the next thing I'm going to take just my good old Primark eyelash curlers and I'm going to take the Miss Baby Roll, um, what is it called, mascara, that's the one. The sun's in and out, in and out, it's very annoying. But I love this um, mascara, it is so good. I think it's like £10 from Superdrug. But yes, no, it's just such a good mascara, it really lengthens volumes. It does everything that you want in a mascara. So I really like this, especially that I have like really rubbish eyelashes, like my eyelashes, I'll just show you. They're not good because, what, I'll be honest, when I take my makeup off, I tend to pick my eyelashes off instead of like massaging them off. I tend to just pick them out, which is so freaking bad. Don't do that, I do not recommend doing that. Um, but I've had to stop wearing eyelashes because of how bad my eyelashes are. Also, every time I was putting eyelashes on, I was getting headaches. And I was thinking, am I putting them on wrong or what? I didn't know what was sort of going on. And then it was sort of blocking my vision. And then I thought, yes, it's giving me headaches. Um, it's, eyelashes sort of a limit, limit your view, sort of. It depends how thick and heavy they are. But I just had to stop wearing them because they were giving me headaches and that. Obviously we'll bring them back eventually. That light is so annoying. How can I cover that light up? There's the eyelashes. That's all I'm gonna do is just that subtle little, little bit of mascara, just to open your eyes up a little bit more. Then I'm gonna go in, as you know, my Maybelline New York uh, foundation, 36 Warm Sun. This probably isn't gonna match me, but we're gonna make it work anyway. The sun really annoying it's coming round so it's like getting in the way of the camera what a technique sponge which you all know it isn't it looks dirty but it isn't i've literally just washed this so it's really nice and bounced there i've just had to like move the phone over to like avoid the sun so yes i'm going to go in with my favorite foundation and my real technique sponge i'm going to just squirt it on the sponge and just start blending this into my face so everyone knows that I love this foundation and it's so hard for me to try and find another one as good as this. Like I try and I use it and I'm just like, no, I just don't like it. Like this foundation has this beautiful yellow undertone. It has great full coverage. It makes your face look so airbrushed and it is honestly the best foundation I've ever used in my life like ever used my fake tan is coming off so and this obviously I wear fake tan every single day now I never used to but I do now so this is why when I've got no tan on it looks a bit crazy but when I've got tan on it matches absolutely perfectly so when that is all blended into my skin I will go in with my e.l.f. concealer, which I really, really, really love this concealer. It is in light beige, if anyone wants to know. And you can get this from Superdrug. And it's so full coverage. And it's so brightening. Everyone knows I love my collection one, but I was just finding it was drying up so quick. And, you know, I was going through one sort of every week. And I was just like, that's, that's just too much. So I watched a few makeup tutorials on the girls that were mentioning about the e.l.f. and saying how good it was and how brightening it was and just how nice the formula was. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna just go and try it and see if I like it and I love it. As Soon as I used it, I just knew that I would love it. Coverage concealer. My nose is so red, so I'm gonna pop a little bit more around the sides of my nose. 
just here. Get really red, red nose. I'm gonna get take my good old primer, primer brush with a really nice sort of no, not squared, sorry, triangle shaped brush. And then I'm just gonna go underneath my eye and just pat out any creases that I have made. And I'm gonna pat everything out so it's so smooth. Then I'm gonna go in with this brush straight away with the powder on and to just set the concealer into place so it doesn't crease. So always do that. So always go back in with your beauty sponge and just blend out any creasing. Go straight in with the brush with the powder on and to just set that concealer in place so it doesn't move. I will just pop this powder everywhere to just sort of blend everything, not blend everything, sorry, set everything in place. I can't not set my foundation because my bronzer and my highlighter and stuff will just not go on very well. So I always have to set my foundation and concealer always 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 and i just find my makeup lasts so much longer and my makeup looks so much better so i always recommend setting the foundation i know a lot of people don't but try it because it's it's so good just making sure we really do set i love these little technique brushes i really really love them i also love them ones that i picked up from home bargains the brushes that i picked up from home bargains the Bella Pro, like they're so nice. I've not had any fallout with them. And they, they apply the eyeshadow and the highlighter and everything like that really, really well. This is one, I use this Bella Pro one for um, blush. So when I've done my foundation concealer and I've set my base, then I will go in with my bronzer, which I use this Holla one, Holla W7. It's, again, it's just from Just Essentials. I love the warmish tone that it has in it. And I really love this. This was, it's $2.99 um, but I really really like this I've run out of that new look one that I really like which is a really good dupe for the give me sun give me sun from mac like so the same like I love that so I'm just gonna going and bronzer my skin and also contour at the same time because this is more of a quick makeup tutorial I'm going to contour and bronzer at the same time I generally feel like I haven't sat down and filmed a makeup video for ages. I do like doing them and catching up with you all. I didn't really do much on my weekend, it was pretty chill to be honest. Uh, we went out for a nice family meal, which was really nice. I can't remember, Don donkey, what was it called? Oh, I don't know, it was just like a pub lunch. We had like a roast and it was really good. Ollie ate absolutely nothing, which is always rubbish so we need to bear in mind me and tom to not buy him an actual meal to just let me off our plate because he just doesn't eat what we buy him and it's so annoying ah, lay down dogs decide to bloody bark at the door next door neighbor's door next door neighbor's door yeah that's the one must be a postman or something but she's barking so i'm just going to take this real techniques brush and i'm just going to go down my nose and to just contour slightly if you know i hate my nose yes i'd love a nose job but have we got money for that of course we haven't some more charity shops as well need to do that but i'm just trying to be careful with money because i'm really bad with money I go into a charity shop and think, yeah, it's cheap, you know, it's nothing. And then I think, you know, I actually add up what I've got and I've spent like 50, 60 quid in the charity shop and I'm like, Jesus. So I'm gonna go in with that primer brush and that powder and just go underneath the contour and the bronzing to just sharpen everything up. I'm just gonna let that bake there for a bit and then I'm gonna wipe it away in a minute. Just like that. Just gonna let that bake a little bit and I'm just gonna talk to you, I guess. But yeah, my products that I've really, really, really been loving at the minute is definitely that NYX um, sort of dewy, dewy me up stuff. And it's, you can use it as a primer as well. So I've really, really, really been enjoying that. I've really, really been enjoying this e.l.f. concealer. It's a huge, huge little container. So I feel like it's gonna last me forever. 
I feel like I haven't spoken much in here, but I haven't really got anything else to sort of catch up on. Today is a Monday and I'm just gonna chill at home. I'm gonna do some cleaning, just get things a little bit more organized and do a little bit more. Nothing crazy because I do overdo it and I make myself tired and moody. So I'm just gonna do it. Just gonna be really chilled and get what I need done, but in a slower pace because I do everything so quick and crazy. I hope the fan's not too noisy, but I've had to turn my fan on so I'm literally sweating in here, it's so warm. And the kids not listening, which is just great when you want to film and your kids don't listen. It's so good, isn't it? So good. Yeah, I've let that bake for a bit and then I'm going to take this new look buffing brush that I have. And I'm just going to brush away that powder that was just sitting there. Blend everything in. Then I'm going to go on to my lips. And I've really been enjoying this collection lip definer in two cappuccino like i've been really enjoying this it's really creamy so it's not like drying so i sort of um, go around my lips and I fill in slightly and then I'm going to take my little mini MAC lipstick in Matte Velvet Teddy. Probably my favourite lipstick from MAC. Like, I just love that colour. Then I've really been enjoying to take a little bit of the e.l.f. concealer, the tiniest bit. And just popping this in the middle of my lips, I'm giving my lips like an ombre effect. So I take some of that and then I just blend it in. That's what I've really, really been enjoying. Forget about the neck, don't worry that it doesn't match. I will sort this out. Then I will go in with my Benefit blush here on a little which is the, no, it's not the, I was going to say the techniques, the Bella Pro brush, which are the ones from Home Bargains, which I really, really like. I'm just going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. And then I always, after doing that, I always go over my nose with the rest on the brush to just give me that, give me that sort of soft, warm flush, not flush, like a blush cheek nose. And I find going over my nose just makes it a little bit more natural. So I always do that. I did a little bit of blush. Then I'm going to go in with the Instant Fix and Go from Rimmel London and set everything into place. Yep, I'm going crazy with the setting spray, but it helps all the powders and the creams to just go in so dewy and so matte, not matte, like dewy and glowy and it just melts everything together and it looks amazing. So I really recommend doing that. I'm going to go in with the Beaming Blush from MAC, which I believe is a highlighter and not a blush. It sounds like it's blush, but it's not. And then I'm just going to pop this highlighter onto my cheeks. Always go just above my eyebrows with this. And the cheekbones. Is that not just the most amazing highlight? I, like, I don't know how anyone can like miss the step of highlighting because if you don't highlighter, then hun, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't know what you're doing. You just need to add highlighter. It makes the makeup just look 10 times better. But I don't know anyone that can miss highlighting. I've never met anyone that can miss it. So, and then I just pop this in my crease, in my crease in the corner of my eye to just open up my eye slightly. And then I always go underneath the brow bone. And again here, always do that. And then I always go on my cupid's bow. See my little mark where I have my Medusa pierced. Always do that. And that is my makeup done for you. So this is more of my like, natural makeup to some people this is not natural to me it is extremely natural but to me this is really subtle and really natural so i've got a really nice dewy glowy bronzed 
face with just a little bit of mascara on, some nice sort of brownie nude lips with this beautiful pop of highlighter. I love highlighter. That is one thing that I feel I could pick. If I could pick anything out of my, actually, I'm gonna get you guys to do that. So you need to pick one thing out of all of your makeup that you couldn't live without. So one thing. Mine generally would be highlighter. Like I would just put, if I couldn't have any makeup, I would just smother my face into highlighter. So that is one thing I really couldn't live without. I really, really love my highlighter. It's my favorite thing out of my whole makeup lot. So let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is out of your makeup collection and you sort of couldn't live without. So let me know down below. I just feel like this was a ramble and I just sat and shared some amazing products and did my face with you guys. But I'm so glad, I don't want this video to end, I'm so glad to be sitting down and just have sort of a more of a casual video. So, cause I've got nothing in, like nothing planned today because I know Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday I'm quite busy with Oliver in the hospital. So yeah, I really just wanted to sit down and talk to you all. But anyway, I hope you're all doing really, really well. Thank you so much for subscribing, liking and comment and supporting me on my videos because it means the absolute world. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Um, I really, really hope you enjoyed this sort of sit down, do my makeup, chit chat video. If you do, make sure you like, um, make sure you comment and make sure you're subscribed if you're new. And thank you so, 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 so much for watching. And I will see you all soon. Join us.